Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Special Missions, Cobra Island, Cobra Trooper. And I gotta give a huge shout out to a couple collectors out there. So for this figure that we see right here, I gotta give a shout out to my boy Ernest. He is always looking out. He's part of the Plastic Cannibals. And honestly, we just look out for one another. He found three. He wanted to keep one and he actually helped me and another collector tony out with these troopers so i mean these things are hard to get and everybody's gobbling them up and hopefully i'll be able to get four at a minimum i would like six but four at the minimum would be ideal and i gotta give another shout out to my boy judd because he surprised me and was on top of a post that was part of the plastic cannibals um a fellow collector josh cox who's helped out the cannibals tons of collectors just really finding some of these hard to find figures uh with the whole trying to get these exclusives from target it was a huge pain and he just really threw in the towel and thankfully was able to allow me to obtain another one by surprise so now i have two troopers out of the four or six that i'm aiming to get so hats off to all three of you guys fine collectors really good guys and uh, if you guys are looking for that awesome group that's looking out for one another, definitely check out Plastic Cannibals. I really want to just zoom in on this picture because this artwork on these boxes are phenomenal. I love the way this trooper looks. And then we got the uh, Hiss tank in the background. It looks awesome. On the left of the box, we continue with that amazing, badass looking artwork. We got the Cobra Trooper just holding his rifle and it wraps around a little bit on the other side. We got a tattered flag of Cobra in the background and we get more Cobra Troopers in battle down below. Gotta love when you have a box that leans a little bit. But this is the file card for the Cobra Trooper. Go ahead and go to the Joe website and look up all those and see what they're specialized at. And they are number 12. So if you see that 12... On the target shelves, pounce on it because that is a Cobra Trooper. On the back of these figures, we get the actual image of Cobra Island that looks amazing. So much detail, and we get all the legal stuff down below. One of many of the accessories this Cobra Trooper comes with is a armband. So you could just have a ranked up Cobra Trooper instead of just having them all just one rank. It looks awesome. The red looks great. It's a little bit sloppy on the edges. But uh, we do get some sculpted in damage up there. Just need a little bit of a wash to make that pop. So I guess this is almost like an armor plate and a ranking badge at the same time. It's all black on the other side. And it's squishy. That's how easily you're going to be able to get it up on the figure because it's really pliable. Continuing with the accessories, we do get some really cool Cobra Trooper goggles with the red slit down the eyes making them look like snake eyes. And uh, not Snake Eyes the Ninja, but yeah, these, these goggles look pretty cool. Sculpted in detail. They're just casted in black, but cool way to decorate the awesome trooper. Another accessory we get is his helmet. The sculpt looks great on it. Instead of it just being a smooth helmet, looks awesome. I like it as I'm fumbling around with it. Pretty, pretty solid sculpt for a helmet. Diving into the Cobra Trooper's arsenal, he comes with a pair of pistols, and they are sculpted to the teeth. Looks awesome, casted in black, no paint on these, but pretty cool for futuristic laser shooting pistols. And they are a little bit thin. They're not excessively overly thin, but they look good. You know, for what they are, they're pretty awesome. My favorite accessory that he comes with is this knife. I really, really like the sculpt work on it. The handle looks good, and it's a snake head with some fangs, and the tongue is the blade. It looks awesome, and if you angle it just right, if I can angle it, you can see the actual serrated edges on the blade, which is awesome. It looks like they cut off the tip, make it less pointy, but uh, it's a pretty nice-looking knife. Now, if two pistols, a knife, goggles, armband, and a helmet wasn't enough, we do get a sniper rifle that looks amazing. I love the sculpt work on it. 
Again, just cast it in black, but it works for this weapon, and it looks awesome until you get to the other side where you see that gnarly peg. Now, this peg's in the back of him, so all his weapons can store on them, but I wish there was a better way that they could do that instead of having a giant peg coming off the side of your gun. And to top it all off, we get a nice assault rifle. Again, sculpted very nicely, continuing with the theme that matches the sniper rifle. Looks really good until you flip it and uh, you get that gnarly peg. It just, they got to do something about that. I mean, it works for now, but it just means that if you do hold, have your guys holding the guns, you got to hold it this way and take photos and pose them or else you're going to have this giant gnarly thing sticking out the side. Cobra Trooper up close looks amazing. Tons of sculpt work. The eyes, the eyebrows look amazing. It's a beautiful looking figure. Now there's a running change. The actual collar on this uh, are now blue. So keep an eye out. There are some that have the blue collar, some have black collar. But if you can find one, it doesn't matter. Buy it because these things are hard to come by. But look at the sculpt work in just the head alone. The texturing, it just looks amazing. Let me get down. Like I I'm going to be like drooling over this figure. We get this separate like harness. So you get the Cobra logo that's right on the front here. It's not painted the greatest, but I'm not I'm not complaining. So it, it it'll do. So you got the texture throughout there. The harness is actually this part right here where my thumb's at. So that's actually underneath the harness. The harness has tons of detail. The Cobra logos, I wish they were painted red, because it would definitely look awesome, but still having them actually sculpted into the gun holster the chest instead of just being like stickers or paint is uh it, it's it's a win for me then we get into his gauntlets the gauntlets have cobra logos as well they're not painted red like the picture on the box but i don't care they oh i'm like geeking over here i love what they're doing with this line it's insane the amount of detail and texture in this figure is ridiculous we got the holster right here for the other pistol but look at the back. So you can plug all your guns in the back here. But look at this like rusted, up, bubbling up plate of armor on there. Has some rivets in there. Again, whoever's on the G.I. Joe Classified team, Hasbro needs to raise them. Oh, raise them. Give them a raise. <laughs> um, there's a little Cobra logo right here too. Sculpted in. Love it. Love the wrinkles in there. Continuing throughout the boots, uh, or the boots, the pants, tons of texture, looking great. Knees, shin guards, the boots look armored, even the tips of the boots have that little bubbling rusty look. Let's see if you can see it on camera a little bit, yeah you can see it. This figure is phenomenal, like I cannot, I can't front, like this, this figure is probably easily top 10 figure now to dive into some articulation here his head can not really well i guess i can sort of look down the neck moves um head doesn't want to there's definitely a disc hinge in there but the head just doesn't want to to tilt back the way it should but i'm trying so he can look up that far, which I guess is good enough. And as for looking down, I mean, that's about as far as it goes. But there's definitely a disc hinge. I just don't know why it's not wanting to kick in. The lower neck wants to definitely move a lot more. So he can get some attitude going on there. Arms themselves can go up eh, about that far. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist rotation. And this wrist actually goes in the proper direction he does have really really awesome butterfly joints in there so keeping going with amazing articulation on these figures the other wrist though does fold this way so you don't get the same articulation so two different articulations uh there is ab crunch underneath this uh it, you just really can't can't really utilize it because of the harness the harness doesn't come off either but that doesn't really bug me due to the fact that if you're a trooper, you're going to have like plate mail and all that stuff. You're not going to be able to really like 
ab crunch like crazy. So you're going to be loaded up with gear and stuff that's going to prevent you from being an acrobat. Now, you can sort of twist the waist, lean and all that stuff. So you get that type of articulation. Legs do drop down at the hip. Got the cuts right there, which break up that little seam pattern going in his pants. Uh, he can kick up quite a bit. Double jointed knees. Got the boot swivel. Look at that. Hidden. Right where the strapping is. Beautiful. Ankle bend. And pivot. Right there. Holy crap. This figure is awesome. I did put his armband on there. And uh, it does not affect any articulation on the figure whatsoever. Now, if you just want your trooper to have the helmet on, that's okay. You can have that equipped. So many different ways of posing and and customizing the way your troopers look, which is awesome. So you can just have the helmet on, and he has that uh, upgraded classic look when he has it this way. If you didn't want to go with the helmet, you want him to be more of a Spec Ops, night vision, splinter cell agent type of trooper, you could definitely do it. Looks very, very cool with just goggles alone. Or you could just go with how the box cover shows him with the goggles, helmet, and all on. And he just, he looks badass. You can't really go wrong with any way you have him displayed. Without goggles, with goggles, without the helmet, without anything. It is awesome. Here I got the Cobra Trooper all geared up. We got the knife and the sheath, pistol here. And uh, I equipped all the guns on his back. And uh, even if we t unpeg these, I just got to have one sort of issue. This gun right here should be flipped the other way for this hand to be able to get it. Because you're not going to be reaching your hand all the way back here to get a gun. That just doesn't seem natural. You're going to more likely use this hand because it's closer. Um, this one will work because you could, you know, reach over and grab it. Uh, it still should be angled, not up and down, but maybe diagonally a little bit. But even the ability to plug in all these accessories and stuff makes this figure even better. It's awesome. Now, mind you, if you want to hide that peg, you're going to be equipping all your guns in his left hand. And, I mean, it still looks awesome. It got him sort of holding on to the front of the clip for stability. It's great. Now, keep in mind, the knife sheath is a little bit thick, so some of the angles or aiming that you might want to get might get in the way now when it comes to his sniper rifle it is a pain in the butt so his hand keeps wanting to like pop out when you're trying to get him posed up where he's like looking down the scope and uh I, you have to use it this way because the knife she definitely gets in the way when you're trying to do it the other way but i mean he holds it well enough and uh, i'm sure with a lot of patience you can get it up propped up a little bit higher um, to where his eye lines up with the actual scope. In the end, this figure is a must-have. It's an amazing figure. Definitely a top 10 on my list. Beautiful figure. I, I can't say it enough. I love the articulation, the accessories, the detail. This figure is phenomenal and a must-have. Even if you can only get one, it's worth it. This figure is awesome. And if you're a Joe collector like I am, you might even have that parachute I'm using. It came from with a three and three quarter inch figure, and it actually works very well with these classified troopers. So I just have him posed up as if he didn't really make that landing and uh, messed his leg up and he's shooting up towards a Joe or a, another enemy that's coming in to finish him off. It's an awesome figure. And honestly, if Hasbro keeps going with the articulation, detail, and accessories, that these classified figures are coming with, this line is going to be unstoppable. And the hype is just going to get bigger and bigger. And it's awesome. So all I can say is bring on the Joes and keep them coming. And it's awesome. So that sums up my unboxing and review of the G.I. Joe Classified Series Special Mission Cobra Island Cobra Trooper. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. New to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. And if you want to get alerts when I post up a new video, hit that silver uh, bell notification. That's what it is, that little silver bell. And I want you guys to make sure you check out Nate's Toys and Collectibles. He's where I go for all my Joes and Legends. And uh, definitely check him out. Unfortunately, these are tar Target exclusives when it's dealing with the Cobra Island ones. But 
other than that, he's pretty much getting a lot of the other Joes in. So definitely check that out. And I want you guys to make sure you have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting. And have a beautiful day.